Hello my mint friends and welcome back to Agrarian Skies. I'm Inglorious Mint and um, well I've been a bit busy preparing for this episode guys. Um, as you see we've still got no trees but I have been doing them off camera. It's just because it's a bit laggy when it's when I'm recording. Um, but I've been busy building a few things. So here's our clipboard. That page all done. This page, we only have to make a jetpack, and this page is done. We've made an energetic infuser, a fluid transposer, magna crucible, and a disenchanter. Do we have a third page? No. We soon, we sh probably should. Um, I made a golden bag of holding too. I don't know if I had that last time. Uh, right, but anyway, we've got... Auto Disenchanter, Fluid Transposer and Energetic Infuser to set up today because um, we need to make some of these and we need, I've made the frames which are pretty simple uh, we just need to put redstone, like liquefied redstone in them or something which we need one of these machines for right, I've laid it all out got some tanks for liquids of various types this one's going to be redstone um, Magma Crucible, I set up here, but, um, I don't know when, sometime, because I ran out of lava, and look at all the lava, so much. Right, pretty simple, we're going to bang this down, bam, um, and we're going to have, that is an input, I can never have remember how this thing works, but, that's fine, oops. Right, uh, and we're going to be on, oh I don't know, basically we can use this to melt um, redstone, so if we grab a bit of redstone from around here, from one of these diamond chests, let's just do that, we can put it in here and make uh, red. Oh, jeez, no, bad, bad move, bad move. <laughs> okay, we want the redstone to go out here into this machine, if we can. Yeah, there we go. There it is. It is going in. Destabilized redstone. <laughs> Don't know where the rest of it went. Oh, oh, that's a little bit of a problem. I can't get around there. Oh dear. Uh, whoa. Let's see. Let's take these tanks. I can't get it. I can't get it. So much tank breakage. Right. Let's get the lava tank. Back there. These tanks back here. Uh, let's just use these. Right, if I do this, hopefully, there we go. Yep, cool. That works fine. Okay, there we go. We've got a bit of destabilized redstone in that tank. Uh, and we've. Oh, God damn it. How did that happen again? Done. Okay. Just pop these last tanks back. God damn. There we go. Hopefully that's fixed the problem. Got a bit of redstone in here, but that's fine. Um, this is going to be churning it all out, putting it in here. And then all we got to do is bang them in there. And set it to fill. And it should fill those, or empty, I don't know, I can't remember if it fills, where do these go, right they go there, uh, fill, no one empty, right, and then it should fill those at some point. <laughs> I don't know, I'll figure it out in a bit. Anyway, let's set up the other two machines. We've got this, and this is the energetic infuser. 
Uh, we're going to use it to charge up um, our jetpack when we make it. Oop. So that will we put our jetpack in. We've got it in hat pack. This thing though, auto disenchanter, nice texture on it. We put books in here and items we've want to disenchant, and then I'm going to put yes there, and then it will hopefully. Uh, just give us enchanted books so that's all fine and dandy now I'm gonna figure this thing out and then we'll continue well it turns out as usual guys I'm pretty dumb they don't have any power um, so what we do is we'll just switch on our little flick up little power switch and power them up real quick that's gonna carry on that's gonna fill these with lava and then it should power these two up. There we go. Mm. We have done it. Easy as that. Right. We can switch that off now. Otherwise it just eats through our lava if I leave that lever on. Okay. We've done it. We can do this. Uh, detect. Yes. Let's claim the reward. Let's take... The... I don't know what these... I know you put food in that one and it makes power. That, I don't know what it does. That, I don't really know what it does either. So, I mean, I'm going to take this because it sounds interesting. So, we got a reward bag as well. Let's check that out. Bam, we got a butterfly. Wow. Yay. <laughs> That's great. That's absolutely fantastic, guys. We got ourselves a butterfly. Alright, well, butterfly can not go in there because we're out of space. I'll put it in the bees and magic chest. Right, we've got a whole heart now to consume. There we go. And that puts us on 21 hearts. Alright, next on the list. Um, we need to disenchant some stuff. So, all of this and all of these bows are going to need to be disenchanted. We've got some books. Uh, I don't really know what this thing does still, so I'm just going to gonna leave it there. Right, let's grab a few things that we want to disenchant. That, like, all of it. But I want to take the good stuff. Hmm... Oh, screw it. We'll just take... Oh, protection four. Has anything got fire protection? I really need some fire protection. Um, I have no idea. I don't think we... Oh, is that fire protection one? Feather falling. I don't know. Let's just take anything. Let's take that. And we'll go and shove it in. What are you doing, cow? Calm down. We'll see what happens with it, basically. When we shove it in here. Right. That'll go in there. They'll go in there. It'll pull out. Oh my god. That is really, like, struggling. <laughs> it's doing work gradually. Wow, it's really struggling for power, that. I don't know why. Maybe I need to get some better power cables like the hardened ones. Jeez. Well, anyway, we'll see what that does. Um, and then that's what we'll have to do to everything, basically. And it should give us a bunch of enchanted books. But anyway, what do we have next in the quest book to be done? Uh, feel my power. Unlocks four quests. So... Uh, from this point on, you'll need to make more and more power to automate machines and farms to gather resources needed to expand your world and rebuild a mighty civilization. There are many ways of getting power in this pack. Steam dynamos, blah blah blah. We need to make a resonant flux capacitor. Oh my god, that is going to be a tough one. We get an endothermic pump, redstone energy cell full of power, potion flask, quarter of a heart. Wow, you get quite a bit of stuff from that. So, I mean, that's another thing. We need to get, like, Enderman grinded up on the go. 
um because ender pearls we will need for that right we need to do this highway to hell and we need to do that as well so let's see what have we done i made i made a magician's blood orb oh yeah so our blood altar i've probably upgraded it again since last time i think it's tier three now um and i had to put a block of gold in there and then just hurt myself to sacrifice 30,000 life points or whatever and oh my god it took ages and I made the spawn squid thing and it took ages but anyway that's that let's do that and we're gonna pick that reward bag claimed okay we've got another quarter heart some flowers are oh, oh safari net awesome let's see what that is what do we get Glowstone Nook. That's a bit annoying. Okay, we've got a single use safari net. Please do not be. Oh, damn it. Please do not be some horrid monster. <gasps> it's a mushroom! Awesome. I think we can breed them with cows. I'm not too sure. But we have a mushroom. Sweet. Um, okay. What else we got? Uh, where's the quest book gone? I'm just going to dump all that. I was preparing to go to the nether today and try and do this. So, I mean, we've got some stuff on us. So, I mean, we can give it a go. Uh, we have we have a smeltery thing to do. Um, I had to make these high oven things for like a steel, to be able to make steel, basically. I think it's in here. So we've claimed, we can claim these now. We've got high oven bits and bobs um, I can't oh, I've got to pick one I'm gonna pick scorched bricks because they'll help us build the high oven this thing did that as well man I was busy I was busy what can I say two reward bags pearl oysters we've had them before a bottle a butterfly great just what I wanted they can go in there I don't care don't care for them we can make another health. We'll leave that there anyway. Right. Oh. Onwards to the never. So we have to go to a coordinate, don't we? We have to go to negative 149, 60, 185. Okay. Let's see. What stuff? Uh, probably won't need everything. I'm gonna take extra arrows. Don't need those. Um, probably won't need my wrench. I've got a few bits there, spare. Uh, we'll leave the to-do list behind, actually, because that'd be a little bit of a pain if we lost that. Let's head off into the never. Now, as you guys may remember, the never was a very dangerous place. And it's no different, except I've made the portal a bit safe um, by building around it and stuff. And also, nether ores! Don't mind those, they explode. And I don't have the right pickaxe to mine most of them. Anyway, so we need to build a cobalt pickaxe or whatever. Our di I think that's nether diamond ore over there. Anyway, the pigmen are very, very angry. Um, we have all this armor which is all right, this might help us. Um, but we are making more armor, just in case. Right, we need to get to those coordinates. So which way are we going? What was it? It was minus negative 149, 60 plus 185. Well, we're on the 185 bearing. Oh my God, it's like, over there a little bit over there okay this is gonna be pretty dangerous but we're gonna try and do it no it's not over there it's the other way crap break that don't want pigmen getting us it's like over here okay we're on 60 Oh man, we can just build out to it. 
Wait, that's the wrong bearing. Here, build out here. Oh no! No thank you! Where is he? I don't know where that ghast is, but... Hell no! There we are. 60185. No! Right, that is the coordinate. I've done it. Surely. Yes! We have done it. Fantastic. Let's get back in. <laughs> I don't like it in here. <laughs> Oh, wow. I'm glad to be out of there. Let's complete that. Uh, claim that reward. Hell yeah. Oh, full heart. Bam. 22 remaining. And a basic reward back. Yeah, fireworks. Whee. I didn't even see that go off. Never mind. That's pretty cool. Wow. Uh, we got a fair bit done today, guys. Which is... Well, it's good, in my opinion. Um, so, hopefully next time we can do a bit more. Oh, oh, I'm getting stuck. We'll do the uh, the Steelworks um, high oven. We'll build that. Okay, that's giving me a gold chest plate and unbreaking three. Oh, two, sorry. Sweet. That's pretty good. So I guess sometimes it doesn't break the item. Oh, wow. Pretty damn good. Uh, I want to just send this through here. Because the only way I can get blooming cobalt or whatever it is, is like... God damn it. It's by um, sending never, never rack through there. So, and then it's very rare. That's like four stacks of never rack. Got me that. So... Yeah, pretty rare. Needs to be done, but um, I will work on that in my own time. I'll go like strip mine in the top of the never or something, and get loads of never rack. Also, if I use a silk touch pickaxe on the nether ores, they will not explode on me. So, I could do with building one of those out of ardite and a regular pickaxe out of ardite as well. So, we'll do that another time. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching, um, leave me a like and a comment if you've enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe, and check out the awesome armour we are making. This is going through three times, all of this stuff is going to go through it loads. Oh man, it's going to take ages. We're getting there, we need to get more power going from some sort of more renewable source, get applied energistics on its way to like store all of our stuff so we don't have all these crummy chests so much to do right thanks for watching though guys and i'll see you soon